Hey guys, and welcome back to Clanad. So let's just jump right back in. Start walking again. So, how far do I have to go with you? You're going home? Yeah. Me too. You won't mind if we walk together on the way, right? Those club members from before might come back once you leave me. Right. Protect me, just like you did before. Yeah, that's not too... Hey, wait a minute. Wouldn't that mean I'd be with you starting tomorrow? Aren't you coming or aren't you coming to meet me every day during the or during break? It's exactly the same. And shut up, phone! <laughs> that was Sunohara's selfish idea. No idea what he's or when he's gonna stop that. Yeah, you're right. I can shake him off by myself. Aren't you getting tired of him? That idiot? Yeah. Although I'd like to leave the troubling rumors alone, bumping into her and seeing her like this is a bit on the contrary. Maybe I should make him knock it off now. You. So, it really was just for your entertainment. She said that looking surprised. Wouldn't that make you a bad person if you say that? Like I said, that's why I... Or that's the way I, I'm seen. Really? You're not such a bad person. But that doesn't mean that you can call me a good person. Yeah, I suppose. I'm going this way. We'll part here then. Okay, thanks for your help today. Sure. Evening has come, and as always, I head to the dormitory. Coming out of the entry hall. Another tremor. Move it, move it! The rugby club members are rushing to their respective rooms. Hey! Uh, and chasing them behind is Masai san. Jeez, those guys. Why can't they clean up their rooms? Even grade schoolers can do that. We'll talk to her. Like I said, you're too easy on them. What should I do then? You should slowly grab their legs. I won't be able to grab them slowly, though. After that, spin yourself around, and then go or let go of their legs. They'll slide over the floor like a duster, and that will help clean up the dorm. I can't do something that you only see in or in a manga. Ah, Masai-san, good, good timing. There's a bug inside the empty trash can in my room. Do you have any bug spray? Why, you? Letting anger take control, she grabs both of Sunahara's legs. Hey? And then... With a giant swing. <laughs> Sunahara came tumbling down the corridor. I see. You'll be able to do it if you try. Hey, all of you clean your own rooms, please. She dusts off her hands as she walks away. This is no good. They'll figure out that I'm here. He quickly returns with a face full of dust. What's wrong? What happened? He continues to his room afterwards. Listen, be quiet for today. Why? Because today we have to be quiet. Is there such a rule in this storm? Like I said, don't talk too loud. Perhaps he's trying to trick the rugby players into thinking that he's out. Let's not worry about that and party until morning. Knock it off. All right, let's play step on or step on the thumbtack and scream out loud like we always do. We never play that. All right, let's play rock paper scissors. When or where when Sunahara loses, he steps on a thumbtack. When Sunahara loses, hey, what if you lose, Okazaki? All right, let's begin. Hey, shut up, phone. Rock paper scissors. All right, I won. Damn it. Let's try again. Rock paper scissors. All right, two wins in a row. Hurry up and lose. Rock paper scissors. How about that? Three consecutive wins. Hey, isn't this a game that'll end up with me stepping on a thumbtack? You got it. You're a tyrant. The door suddenly opened loudly. Gah! Damn you, you never learn, do you? There are two rugby players standing at the door. You're too loud. All right, then let's go to my room and have a little chat. Huh? He grabs Sunahara by the scarf. And he leaves a trail of screens as he's dragged away. 
and then it's the next day. I'm looking at the cloudy sky. The weather report says it's going to rain in the afternoon. Sunahara's not here. I don't know what happened after I left last night. Maybe he's going to hide until evening? Sunahara appears with bloodshot eyes once first period ends. Alright, time to get my Doronjo on Tomoyo! You're really getting far away from revenge. Just leave that alone already, jeez. Huh? Could it be that you were crying until morning? That's not entirely true. He rubs his eyes as he says that. Well, what's your plan this time? I'm going to take a hostage. You always see er, see this in things like manga and drama, right? Like, I can't guarantee the safety of this kid if you move just a little. I'll threaten something valuable of hers. What's your target? Well, how about her history textbook? It will be like, if you move one inch, then this picture of Ak <laughs> Ak Akutagawa might suddenly sprout a beard. You'll probably get kicked without any argument, though. If she tries to do that, I'll cover the author's face with a beard. In exchange, you're going to get beaten up, or beaten to a pulp. <laughs> if I manage to take something hostage that she cares about, I'll be satisfied. You sure don't cherish your own life, huh? Call me a scary guy. Okay, you're a scary guy. Sunahara takes a marker out of his pencil case and removes the cap. <laughs> He's licking the tip of it. You're writing on your tongue. Eh? Crap, I wonder if it will come off. He's only just halfway becoming a villain. Let's go then. Uh... Stop it. Jeez, knock it off already. Huh? Why? Don't you want... Er, don't you want to see her cry and shout stop? Don't you want to draw a beard... Er, wait, whoops. Don't you want to see her cry and shout stop? Please don't draw a beard on it. There's no way that will happen. Just quit it. You've already proven it. Proven what? That she's really strong. Well, she's definitely not all that weak. Anyway, your idea of there being no girl stronger than men has been shown to be incorrect. So there's no need to continue this, right? There aren't any that are stronger. You just admitted that there, or that there were right now. I just said that she's definitely not weak. I'll show that that doesn't mean that she's strong, or that she's the stronger one in a moment. So you're telling me that being unfair and taking a hostage will prove that you're stronger? Ugh. I think you should stop while you still have some pride left, no matter how little it is. Hey, I'm not being unfair, I was just joking. <laughs> stop this now then, it's getting old. <laughs> I, I guess so. I just thought it was kind of funny. He goes back to his seat. Lays his face down on the desk and remains there motionless. I guess he's in shock, having realized that Tomoyo is stronger than him. During lessons. What in the world is that? I look out the window, scanning the area while ignoring the lesson as always. Since the lessons have started, the area near the school gate is empty. There, I see something I haven't seen before. I wonder what it is. It's moving, so it's probably an animal, but I can't figure out what it is specifically. It's too big to be a cat. It's too round to be a dog. Its tail is, sh er, is too short to be a tanuki. The pattern on its body is odd. It has a somewhat striped patterned skin. Anyway, the unidentified animal appears to be quite happy. It's running its nose against the school gate wall. It's quite amazing to see its legs move so fast. Where are you going, Okazaki? Something's bugging me. Something interesting? It's probably nothing. I'll go with you. You'll be in the way, so don't bother. Don't say that. I'll be bored alone inside the classroom. You don't have any friends, do you? I don't want to hear that from you. Hmm. I'm sure it was around here somewhere. I wonder if it went somewhere else. It really bugs me, though, not knowing what kind of animal it is. Are you looking for something? Not exactly. Hmm? There's something walking around my legs. Boohee, boohee! 
Hey, uh, Okazaki, what's that? Boogie boogie! I, I wonder. What the hell is this animal? It's not a dog, it's also not a tanuki. It's an animal with the striped pattern on its back. I think I've seen it before, although it's still a baby. Puhi! So, so cute! Yeah, it has a charm that dogs and cats don't have. I wonder if it's alright to touch it. I wonder if it bites. Anyway, it's snuggling around my legs, so I don't think it's hostile. Then I'll touch it and stroke it and hug it! Sunahara stretches out his hand to touch the little animal. Puhi! Puhi! Don't run away! Just when he was about to touch the back of a cute little animal. Hey! Eh? Huh? I turn towards the familiar voice. At the same time, something passes before my eyes. Duh! There's a Japanese English dictionary tumbling at my feet when I look down. At the same time, Sunohara falls down with a nosebleed. What do you mean by at the same time? Stop reading people's minds. Ouch, what a thing to come flying at me! I could have died if it hit somewhere vital. Anyway, or anyway, who the hell? Look, what is it? He got kicked as he was about to get up. Before he could say anything, he did another somersault and hit the ground. Look out! T too late! His feet and legs shake from the attack as he says that. Puhi puhi! Jeez, what are you trying to do to my pet? Asks the culprit, who magnificently kicks Sunahara as her long hair flutters. Your pet? Yes, my pet! Huh? This round thing. Puhi puhi! Cute, isn't he? Is it a new breed of dog or tanuki? Do you have marbles stuffed in your eyes? What part of this looks like a dog or a tanuki? What the hell is it then? It's a piglet. A pig shit? Should I kill you? It's really scary when you say that while smiling. P-I-G-L-E-T. It's a pig if you're not familiar with it. Uh, what was it? A baby something, isn't it? It's a baby boar. Puhi puhi. What? A pet? That's right. Puhi? If you have something to say, just say it already. Are you serious? Totally serious. Oh, don't you want to know its name? It's really cute, you know. Well, let's hear it. It's Botan. It's cute, isn't it? Puhi. It's a yummy name. Um, what? Never mind, it's nothing. Oh, ouch, it hurts. It feels like my nose is on fire. Yo, you awake? Yeah, anyway, what's this about a Botan Nabe? If you need me so I don't have any, here it's back in the dorm. Also, I caught a glimpse of a shoe and something light blue from that kick just now. It must have been your pet. Remove that from your mind. So... <sighs> Did you hear what he just said? I didn't. What else could I say? Well, why'd it come here? To meet me, of course. But he, but he. Lessons are still going on, so what'll you do? Hmm, that's right. But he, but he. You see, Botan, I can't go home yet. But he? So be a good boy and go home. But he. I'll come right home after school. But he. It's alright, this guy will walk you home. Hey, why are you pointing at me? This guy likes to wander around, so he might go somewhere if you don't watch him. So therefore, guard him. Huh? You've got free time, haven't you? If you do, make yourself useful for once. Stop messing around, I'm gonna go sleep in class. There's nothing more important than that to me. Oh, stop complaining. I'll treat you to lunch today if you do it. Leave it to me. I thump my chest as I agree. Hey, I don't know where you live. Oh, it's alright. Botan will take you there. You should just watch out for cars, crows, and a male baker with menacing eyes. What if I run into one of them? <laughs> of course you know what would happen. It would only mean your lifespan will shorten drastically. I don't want to hear such disturbing words from you. I can have whatever I want, right? If it's on the school cafeteria's menu. Don't forget, okay? That is, if I'm still at school when you get back. Alright, let's go, Piggy. Please! He's surprisingly fast. 
Hey, hey, you're gonna be left behind. Uh, I'll leave the guy on the ground to you. He'll wake up after five minutes or so. That's true. Bye, bye. Look, he's calling for you. Whoops, wait for me, lunch. Stop saying such disturbing words. It's all the same to me. I shout that as I chase after the little creature. I'm tired. I lost sight of the pig. Oh, this is bad. And I don't mean that I might be missing out on a free lunch. It's small, but it's quite fast. It probably went home on its own. I hope he at least got there in one piece. Well, there's not much I could do about it. I don't think I'd find him even if I tried. Anyway, I guess I'll go back and kill some time at school. Since fourth period and homeroom were both over, the only students left were, are those who have club activities. I really don't want to run into Kyo right now. Uh, g Welcome back! Did you get him home safely? Of, of course. I see. Thanks. Then, as promised, I'll treat you to lunch. Uh, but, like I told you, only within the school cafeteria. No, that's okay. Aww, uh, why? I bought some food on the way here, so it's alright. I won't give you a rain check. Well, that's a shame. You look somewhat... guilty. Uh, anyway, I said it's alright. Okay. I turn around and run down the hallway to escape from Kyo. When I come back to the classroom to retrieve my bag, Sunahara was there waiting by himself. Back at last, Okazaki! Oh, you've revived, that's impressive. It wasn't so bad that I would need to be revived. I got away. You say it so fervently. Uh, yeah, whatever. I almost want to believe you. I'll believe you if you beg to me. Please, I beg you. Alright, you got away, that's amazing. Of course. All right, then. Let's go hang out somewhere. We could go hit on girls from the other school once in a while. It's about to rain. Huh? No way! Look how cloudy the sky is. No way! My fun Saturday night, Saturday night fever! Your sentence just wrapped around itself. Hey, Sunahara! Our homeroom teacher is calling. You're coming with me to the staff room right now. He's approaching our desks. Whoa, not good! Leave this to me, you jump out the window! Yeah! Wait a sec, that'd kill me! Okay then, go get me a, uh, go get me a melon bread and juice while I buy us some time. Okay! Wait, am I your slave? I have you now! Our teacher grabs Sunahara by the shoulder. God, I got caught because I was messing around with you! Since you two get along so well, why don't you both... Time to go home! I'm already in the corridor. I hear Sunahara roar, Are you leaving me behind? as I make my escape. Well, there's nothing to do this afternoon and Sunahara's gone. What should I do? We're gonna go straight home. I'm going home. Hey! Someone calls me as I head to the shoe locker. It's Tomoyo. So, you really did make him stop. Is she talking about Sunahara? Yeah, it'll be okay now. Since you've proven that you're strong or you're the stronger one. I wonder what kind of face she'd make if I said that. Good, that's helpful. But that was the only thing keeping me occupied, so now I'll feel a bit lonely. Why's that? Don't you have any friends? Of course I do, and they're all really kind. And I've got nothing bad to say about them. But they're a bit on the classy side. Both of you are great at being fools. Is she complimenting us? You came to the school to be with people of er, of their lot, right? So it's best to just ignore us. Didn't I tell you that I don't mind? Even with an unple er, even with unpleasant people? I'll greet even unpleasant people at least. Oh, by the way, I don't really hate anyone. Not even Sunahara? Well, no, not even him. You sure have a huge heart. Yeah, you're right, I do. I'm full of motherly love. Isn't that the way you'd expect a girl to be? Girl? More like an old woman. Hey, that's rude. I'm younger than you. Yeah, you're right. I completely forgot about that. 
You don't seem to agree with me. Well, uh, time to end our chat. I'm going home with some of the classmates today. I'd look bad if I made them wait. Yeah, you should get going. Sounds like you want to get rid of me. You should be more regretful that I'm leaving. Well, don't go then. Stay here. Hearing that makes me feel happier, but it's too bad. I have to keep my promise. See you then. She turns and walks away. I feel I've outstayed my welcome in front of the staff room, so I head off to the shoe lockers. I leave my bag at home, change my clothes, and head out into the rain to the dorm. But this is all the time that I have for this episode, guys, so if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!